And then just a quick follow up. The Lions have obviously added quite a few defensive players here on, on, on round two, yourself included. Just what kind of contact did you have with Detroit leading up to this process? And, and, and maybe what do they envision you in, in their scheme? Yeah, so I talked to them, obviously, at Senior And then I also had contact with Coach, Coach Pleasant, um, one of the DB coaches. Um, it, it, it was just a good meeting. We didn't really talk too much about a specific role. Um, I just had a real good conversation with him. Let's go to Justin Rogers next. Hey, congratulations and, and welcome to Detroit. Um, Thank you. I'm curious about your relationship with your brother. Uh, is it a, a friendly rivalry? And um, how, how much of a resource has he been as you've gone through this process and in, in getting you prepared for this next level? See, yeah, with, with my brother, it's actually, I would even call it a rivalry. Um, you know, we compete and me being the younger brother, I just want to do, you know, everything he does and I want to do it better. Um, but from his end, you know, he wants me to be better than him. He wants me to do things better. Um, he wants me to perform better, everything. So I, I could even say it's really like a rivalry. You know, he just supports me in everything I do. And then correct me if I'm wrong. You have a Nigerian background. That's that's correct. Yeah, I'm Nigerian. And so I, I don't know if you know this, but there is a quite a number of Nigerian guys uh, on, on this roster, including uh, two other cornerbacks. And I'm just wondering if, if that means anything to you to – I guess, have that unique bond and brotherhood beyond, I guess, just being a football player? Yeah, so I, I knew that um, Jeff and Amani were also Nigerian. And I feel like, you know, Nigerians, we just we just always have that, you know, even if we don't know each other, I feel like we always have a connection, connection with each other because, you know, we just come from similar backgrounds and, you know, we kind of know how our parents act and everything like that. We come from the same culture. so. I just feel like um, even though I haven't met him, I definitely have a deep rooted connection with those two. Good stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you. Dave Burkett. Hey, Fatu. Uh, I want to ask you a little bit more about your brother too. And just, you know, maybe the, the, um, I don't know how much he's helped you along when it comes to football, I guess. Do you, you have any good stories about, uh, you know, that aspect of, of your relationship with him? Uh, good stories about football. Um, actually, when I was younger and he was in high school, I believe he actually played quarterback. He was like wildcat quarterback. And um, he really taught me how to catch. And I remember we would just be in the backyard and he would just literally just be whipping footballs at, uh, at me and telling me not to be scared and use my hands. Um, so, that, so that's one story. But, you know, we would always go to the field and um, he would help me on, on little on different things. And and just even if I made a play, it could have been better. And he always just, you know, he always trying to push me to that next step, that next level. So he's four or five years older than you was seeing yeah, him reach five years old. OK. And seeing him reach the NFL, how much did that, you know, put it in your head that this is be, this will be me one day, too? Yeah, 100 percent. When, when he got drafted in 2017, I actually, no, not when he got drafted. After the combine, I actually made a, a little uh, countdown in my in my uh, phone. And it was like, I said it for four years later, um, 2021 NFL combine. Wow. So tell me about, I mean, no combine this year, but when that reminder comes up in your phone, what do you, what, what kind of goes through your head? When that comes up, honestly, it really, it really pushes me to go harder, go harder in every, every aspect, not even just the athleticism and, and drills like that, film room, like get my body right, everything. That's just a, it's an overall uh, motivator, definitely. And just to be clear, do you set that as like a goal? I mean, is it something that you remembered that you had set or when you, when it popped up this year, did it, were you like, oh yeah, I, I, I forgot about that? Uh, no, that, that's something I remembered every, every single year. Um, it was definitely nothing I forgot about. Um, my goals, like I said earlier, my goals were just, you know, to be better than him, beat his numbers, and that's exactly what he wanted for me to do. Okay, thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Let's do two more. Kyle Mikey. Hey, Fatu. Congrats and uh, welcome to uh, Detroit. Uh, thank you. Correct me if I'm wrong, um, but you, you committed to Syracuse and then Michigan made a late recruiting push for you. Is that, is that correct? 
Yeah, yeah. Michigan made a, a, a late recruiting push. So could you just explain what your uh, recruitment was like with Michigan and why you chose, um, you know, Syracuse was, was best for you? Yeah, so Michigan, uh, I was committed to Syracuse at the time. And, you know, Michigan, Michigan came in real, real late, like five days before signing day. Um, at the time, I was already, I was very comfortable with Syracuse, um, with their coaches, their new staff, Coach Babers, and just my recruiting class as well. And um, I was overall just comfortable. And I knew, I look, I took a look at Syracuse's roster, and I knew that I had the ch a chance to play, you know, maybe, um, you know, two years in after my redshirt year. Um, and Michigan, um, I don't think they would have allowed me to redshirt. And that's one of the things I wanted to do coming in uh, to college. Got you. Cool. Yeah. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right. No problem. Time. Last one, Eric Woodyard. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? <clears throat> I'm, I'm doing well. Fantastic. How are you? Congratulations, man. Um, going back on, you know, you, you talked about having contact with Arby Pleasant and just this coaching staff. Like, what are you looking for about you know, looking forward to work the most about working with Arby Pleasant? Uh, he he was just he was just one he was probably one of the best coaches I had a meeting with. It was just, you know, just all around good dude not even when it comes to football just everything I'm just I'm just looking forward to just being a sponge and, and learning everything and um trying to get on the field as fast as I can you know the special teams being in a corner anything so I'm just I'm just looking um you know just to get all the information I can out of him all right thanks a lot to you thanks everybody yeah no problem congrats thank you thank you